In this video, we are going to create your LinkedIn account. LinkedIn is a terrific resource for professionals. So the very first thing you'll do is you'll get signed up. Click here where it says join now. And you define if you're employed, if you're a job seeker or a student. And then here you enter your company. And then here for industry, you can choose whatever is most relevant to your field. I'm going to choose marketing and advertising. Click on create my profile. So next you have to add your email address. Click here, continue. And then LinkedIn will automatically ask for permission to pull your email contacts. Click on accept. You'll see that LinkedIn is thinking. It's looking for your contacts. Now keep in mind, I just created a brand new account to be able to shoot this video, so I honestly don't have any contacts yet, but I just wanted to show you how you can get started with LinkedIn. Okay, since it didn't find any contacts for me, I'm going to click on skip this step, and then it gives me a prompt. I'm just going to click skip. Now you can also get LinkedIn for your phone. Go ahead, enter in your phone number here, and just click on get the app. I'll skip that. Now you can choose a free level or a premium level. Um, you're able to get a few advantages. For example, you can see who has viewed your LinkedIn profile. You can see more than 300 million people. You can send messages to people who are not connected to you. You can do additional enhanced search filters. You can save profiles into folders. You can add notes and contact info to any profile. So for $24.95 a month, you do get more options. Realistically, most people end up choosing the basic service. That's really all you need. So you choose basic. And then here where it says add a photo, you just browse and you choose your photo and then click Save. So then here where you see this pencil icon, you can add your experience. And you can write in what your job position was. Indicate when you work there. Click on Save. So that right there is your profile and you can add more so you can choose to add your second company. Click on Save. You'll find that this is truly self-explanatory, but it just gives you an idea of what you can do. Here you can add in your education and the dates that you attended if you want. For the sake of this video, I'm putting in very short answers. The whole premise of LinkedIn is that LinkedIn is really, it's your profile. It's almost your online resume. I do suggest you complete it with accurate information so that people will know what your background is. There is nothing more empowering than connecting with someone who may have been an office manager, someone who was used to having the security of a nine to five job, who's now transitioned over into the work from home space. Many people find comfort in knowing that real people who have been programmed by society to have a safe quote unquote job are now moving over into the work from home space because they are claiming freedom and they're demanding a better lifestyle for themselves and their families. So do enter this information accurately. So now, um, and then here you just make sure that you complete the information. It really is self-explanatory. And then you can add a few skills. You get the idea, okay? So this right here is how you begin your LinkedIn profile. 
and this here shows what your link will be for LinkedIn. So you want to make sure that you copy this. Okay, so this is the basics of your LinkedIn account. Now what you'd like to do is you can search for people, jobs, companies, and more right here. So feel free to type in work from home to see what you get. So here you've got someone work from home, jobs, real online jobs. You've got uh, Simeon Tuit, work from home business expert, mobile marketing and social media marketing. You have all of these different people, so you can always reach out to them and you can send them a message. This is my LinkedIn account. Um, I first started off by creating an account for you to see how easily you can create one. This is my established LinkedIn account. And here, as you can see, when you go to home, it takes you to this page and you can share an update. This would be a fantastic place for you to share uplifting quotes, for you to share a link to your blog post, or for you to just do an update. And then you click on share. Here you can search for companies or people or people who work at companies and you can type in and here you've got a group work from home moms click on it and then here it's letting you know that you can become a member of this open group and start your own discussions and then you can see different people here you can connect with Denise Griffin if you'd like you can follow her you can view her profile so we see that she's into passion parties she's a leader and a consultant let's see if we can send her a mail to send her a mail notice that you need to upgrade your account so let's go back if you want to connect with her click on connect and LinkedIn will automatically ask you how you know her what happens is the following with LinkedIn as you reach out to connect with people work from home you'll see different groups when the groups pop up you can click here and you get all of these people so let's say that you wanted to connect with Michael Gentry click on connect and it lets you know that an invitation is sent okay so you can connect with various people and it lets you know that your invitation to connect with them has been sent. Go to home and in home this is where you want to share your updates. So this would be a great place for you to actually post a link to your blog post here. Um, people that you may know so based on your interactions and groups it gives you a prompt letting you know people that you may know so let's say I want to connect with Adriana Gibson click on connect and then I can say that she's my friend and I can send her an invitation and then here there's other people with whom I can connect so click on connect and every day you want to connect say with five or ten different people and remember to always post quality. So post uplifting quotes, post um, links to your blog posts, and do take a moment to respond to people. People will mail you notes. So here at the top where you see this envelope icon, we see that Michelle Miori has sent me a message. So let's see what it says. Hey Isa, I'm reaching out to you since we're mutual members of the group People Looking for a New Business on LinkedIn. As a top earner with my business, I'm wanting to make you aware of a tremendous opportunity and would like to ask you an eye-opening question. As an entrepreneur, if you had the chance to get in on the ground floor of a company expansion, not with a company that's not ground floor, where you could generate monthly recurring residual incomes on mobile phones nationwide, would you want to know how to get in on it? This unique opportunity is now possible. I'm a top producer with Stream, a debt-free $7 billion company founded in 2005 and headquartered in Dallas. We're in a nationwide pre-launch expansion with AT&T and Sprint, which launches January 24th. With our soft launch of January 1st, just days away, I'm looking for sharp leaders with high integrity who are open-minded to increase their cash flow 
in 2015. Please watch this video to catch our vision. Learn more and reserve your free spot with me here. Blessings and massive success to you, Michelle Miori, and a phone number. So you can see that LinkedIn is a great platform where you can connect with other people and you can send them messages. So I just wanted to show you that LinkedIn is a great resource where you can tap into like-minded people. Most of the folks on LinkedIn are going to be from professional backgrounds, and that's perfectly okay because what you want is you want people who have that mindset of working. They know what time management is. They're used to driving to an office. That They're used to working the eight hours a day, and you want people with those qualities and those character traits to join you in your work-from-home business. Here, you see the icon for connections. Click on that. And notice how it lets you know that you can add additional people from your address book here on LinkedIn. So for the sake of this example, I'm going to click on continue to see what I get. And it's finding my contacts. So if I click on accept, it's going to pull new contacts. And here it gives me quite a few people. So at this point here, I am going to go through and see who I'd like to join. So I'm just going to click Add. And then it will naturally give you a progression of additional contacts you may have in your email address who are not on LinkedIn. So you can add them or invite them to join LinkedIn. So you can click on Add to Network. Okay, so there you have that. And now you can get started integrating LinkedIn to your daily income producing activities. Remember, share value based quotes, interact with people, send at least five to 10 invitations to connect with people on LinkedIn, and you'll quickly grow your power in social media to have an even bigger reach in your business. I hope you found this helpful.